reporting. All right, let's bring in our panel to discuss this. Wendy Patrick, a former attorney and prosecutor, and has McCann, a Democratic strategist. Wendy, I'll start with you. The president keeps blaming the Democrats for immigration problems, but shouldn't the blame go on Republicans? I mean, the Republicans can't even agree on one immigration bill. Yeah, I think there's enough blame to spread around when it comes to immigration. And I say that because what we've seen over the course of the last year, really, I could probably say the last 20 years, is at least an attempt, particularly recently, since those heartbreaking pictures of the children at the border have gone viral, a real attempt over the last couple of weeks to come up with some sort of compromise. And aptly named, that's the one bill that's been postponed till tomorrow. But I got to tell you, does it have legs? It might walk out of the House, but be dead on arrival in the Senate. That's that's, I think, what prompted the president's tweet this morning, why bother, and also some of Paul Ryan's discussion. But as far as who's to blame, I'm really not sure we can say the blame all falls with the Republicans or the Democrats for that matter. Asma, how about it? Um, first of all, it's Hamza. And second of all, it's completely on the Republicans. They have full control of Congress. They have the control of the Senate. They have the control of the House. And they have the White House. At this point, the only blame can fall on the Republicans because they continue to perpetuate a racist policy that separates children from their parents simply because they want to make an example out of immigrants. Shame on you, Republicans. Shame on you, Donald Trump. But Hamza, just a quick question. Think- there are nine republic democrats in the senate the senate the democrats aren't totally powerless shouldn't they compromise a little bit i mean give them the give the president his wall and then help out immigrant kids are we supposed to compromise on human rights? That's not something America should be doing. It comes down to civil rights and human rights abuses that have been perpetuated by this Republican regime, and Donald Trump is responsible for it. At the end of the day, the buck stops at the presidency. The president has abused his powers when it comes to our borders, and he's guilty of, quite frankly, he's guilty of I- implementing a racist policy against people who aren't white. This is an ultra-white nationalist masquerading as a president of the United States, and we need to do everything we can to impeach and remove him today, this moment, right now. Wendy, how about it? Should there be impeachment? Is that a wise move for the Democrats? <laughs> no, it's not. And I, I understand that many people are very passionate about the views they have about this president. But if you really stand back and look objectively at some of what he's done, he's been very responsive to some of what's been objected to, including the separation of children and their families. He also cites a concern for national security. But Wendy, you'll acknowledge security. it took him, it it took him a while to get there, right? I mean, he All was you defending have to this do... for... Hold on a sec, Hamza. Wendy, he was defending this for race. a week. Please. He was defending this for a week, and then suddenly on a dime, he changed his opinion on these families being separated. Well, that's true, and he did actually learn a lot more about it and was very candid about having seen the photos and being viscerally affected like the rest of us. But when it comes to the race argument, you know, he's long explained that it's about national security, it's not about race. But even having said that, he has exhibited an opportunity to really learn and listen from his advisors, including his wife, I understand, on this one, and appears to be at least changing his policies, as are some of the Republicans. I got to tell you, some of the Republicans are getting a lot of push pushback by their constituents for going too far, siding with the Democrats when it comes to things like a path to citizenship, then which why is an can't opportunity they pass a bill? provided by the compromise then bill. Then why can't they pass a bill? They control Congress, they have the White House, and they still can't pass a bill. You can't tell me that Republicans Because they need some Democratic buy-in in the Senate. The they may be able to get it out of the House, but they need the kind of Democratic buy-in I don't in think the that's Senate. enough. Paul Ryan has failed to be a leader for the Republican Party. He has again and again collapsed on, on pressure from the Republican right. And he's a disgrace, a speaker, to be honest with you. The only solution well, let's here see what is for us tomorrow. to vote out let's see what happens on this vote tomorrow. Right Republican Congress in November. The only right. solution, again, I repeat, right. is for us to knock out this Republican Congress and bring in some actual level-headed Democrats to save the day. Because the Republicans have no message aside from, we hate people who aren't white, let's get rid of them tomorrow. Hamza, that's it's not all Republicans. Not that, it's, that's not fair. Not all Republicans that's, that's think it. that. Most Republicans probably don't. But not I do want to ask you. No, uh, all Republicans think that. But the members of Congress who are representing the Republican Party today, that's exactly what they think. Otherwise, we would have fixed immigration <laughs> over the last 16 years. End of story. Uh, it's a Hamza, I do want to ask you this. Republicans are a disgrace. Fine. Hamza, I want to ask you a question. Melania Trump went to visit kids today, really in an effort to show a softer side of the Trump administration, but she wore a very strange jacket. It said, I really don't care, do you? Do you think that was on purpose? Do you think her team is trying to self-sabotage her? What do you think was going on there? I'm not going to jump into a conversation about the clothing of a woman who is the, currently the, the, the First Lady of the United States. What I will say, though, is that it's curious that her team didn't spot that and do something about it. I will leave it at that. 
Um, we're going to let uh, Wendy Patrick go because we've lost the satellite. So, Hamza, I'm going to pick up a Wendy's argument, uh, and that is that um, sure. there are, again, you need nine Democratic votes in the Senate for the Republican majority to get anything done. Why won't Democrats support just a narrow, skinny provision bill in the Senate that says families should not be separated, families should be dealt with as a family? What's wrong with that? I don't think the Democrats are against a bill like that. I think that they're against giving this Republican regime a win when they have uh, they have gone out of their way to abuse the rights of innocent people who are coming to our border and to declare anyone who's an asylum seeker but, to be uh, trying to enter our country illegally. But why should this be about a political that's, win? That's shouldn't, this be about, shouldn't this be about the families and the children and not about who gets a political win out of this? I don't think it's about a political win. It's about, I think it's about a win for civil rights and human rights. And the Democrats don't want to compromise until they know for sure Donald Trump will protect all immigrants and all Americans fairly. And he's failed to do that. But there are two he's sides. It takes two sides again to and tango. Again it take, but it takes two sides to tango here. You need to have the Democrats and the Republicans agreeing on something. Obviously, the Democrats are not going to get the Republicans to give them the bill the Democrats love. But again, shouldn't there be some compromise? Again, we're talking about human rights and civil rights. Until the Republicans understand we have to protect every human being who's trying to enter our country equally as a human being and not treat them like some cattle, then I think the Democrats are in the right in trying to protect the civil rights and human rights of both Americans and those who are aspiring to become Americans trying to enter our country. All right. I'm Zakhan, a Democratic strategist. Also, our thanks to Wendy Patrick, uh, who was a former attorney and prosecutor. We appreciate you both.